In Wales, the stay home rule becomes... Hello and welcome to Wales Today, the headlines. Good evening. The First Minister has announced the most significant easing of lockdown restrictions so far this year. As Mark Drakeford hinted earlier this week, the stay home rule will be lifted tomorrow and will be told to stay local. Mr Drakeford says people should stay within a five mile radius, but those living in rural areas can use their judgment and travel further. Up to four adults from two households will be allowed to meet in a garden. And from Monday, you'll be able to get a haircut. From the 22nd of March, then, garden centres will reopen and supermarkets can start selling non-essential items. But other shops won't be able to welcome customers back until the 12th of April, which the retail industry says is both frustrating and disappointing. Well, throughout the programme, we'll be running through all the key changes. But first, Craig Duggan has been finding out how they've gone down in Newtown. Greg Duggan there. Well, as the restrictions begin to ease, there will also be more opportunity for exercise. Outdoor sports facilities, including basketball courts, tennis courts and golf courses, can reopen. As Ben Price reports. That was the First Minister speaking to our political correspondent, Felicity Evans. Well, our correspondent, who Thomas is here now, and who it's the improving public health picture that's driving all of these changes, isn't it? OK, here. Thank you very much for that. A further 12 deaths with Corona. Well, to tourism now, and among the announcements from the Welsh Government was news that self-contained holiday accommodation can reopen from the 27th of March. But some businesses say unless travel restrictions are eased further, they'll be unable to take the majority of bookings. Matthew Richards is at a camp... Well, let's get the sport now with Thomas and Wales will move a step closer to a Grand Slam if they win in Rome, Thomas. Oh, yes, they're just two wins away from achieving a clean sweep. Well, let's get a final word now with our political editor, Felicity Evans. And, Fliss, what have you made of today's announcement? Well, as markets, but that's why the First Minister has announced this additional financial support. Felicity, thank you very much for that. And that is Wales Today. We'll have a roundup of the headlines for you straight after the BBC's 10 o'clock news. But until then, from all of us on the programme, thanks for watching and do have a good Friday evening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.